Meet the mess, meet the mess. Step right out and greet the Mets. They'll embarrass you all the time. Have no pride or no fate. Then they're laughing in the dugout down by three touchdowns. They don't care. Why should I? You will punt. Won't make anything change. Mickey Calloway is the biggest loser of all time. Oh, oh, just when you think, just when you thought it could not get any worse, it gets worse. Oh, Stephen Max, I mean, oh my God, Stephen Max, boy, uh, yeah, Steve, uh, Stephen Max should never be allowed to pitch against the Washington Nationals ever again. He always reeks against the Nationals, reeks. Seven runs doesn't get him around the first inning. Oh, my God. And it only got worse from there. Uh. <coughs> I mean, seriously. Seriously. And then you're down. You put Jose Reyes in the game. And you're laughing it up in the dugout. You're laughing it up down 20 runs. Show some damn pride. Show some damn pride. <sighs> Absolutely pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Putrid. Horrible. Horrendous. It doesn't get any worse than this. It doesn't get any worse than this. And you know what the big problem is? You got that manager. Mickey Moron. Mickey Calloway. Mickey Kotite. You suck! You absolutely suck! This guy is a born loser. He accepts losing. He actually likes losing. I think he likes losing. He loves losing. He is a loser. A loser. He's brought loser mentality to that clubhouse, and he accepts it. He accepts it. He laughs. That's why the whole team is having a, a gay old time! Unreal, unreal. And you know what's what's what, what's okay. The Mets didn't make any changes. They didn't make any trades. And we didn't want them to. We didn't really want them to trade anybody, any of these pitchers. But if they intend to contend, then they got to spend. If they don't spend, then they don't intend to contend. I mean, it's it, the Mets do everything half-assed, half-assed. The Mets do everything half-assed. This team is filled with morons that have no clue. The Stooges, the Stooges, the teams run by the three Stooges. The Stooges, the Stooges don't have any clue what they're doing at all. Half-assed. This team does everything half-assed. They're full of morons, and nothing will change. Name to keep an eye on, Chris Davis, and I'm talking about the Chris Davis that sucks for the Orioles. That's going to be the Mets' big offseason acquisition. Well, they really hope he hits 40 home runs again. No, he won't hit 40 home runs again. He'll suck. As they dumpster dive, they go, the, the, everyone shops. All these teams that wanted to contend, they go to, they go to the, the high-end store. The Mets go to the dollar store. <sighs> dumpster diving, dumpster diving. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! <sighs> and Jose Reyes. He's getting embarrassed. He was embarrassing out there, and he's having fun. You don't have fun in the majors when you're losing 25 to 4. You don't have fun. That's not fun. Losing is not fun.
unbelievable. This team has no pride, nothing. And if, if any, if they want to make changes, they want to send a message, you fire Mickey Calloway, but they're not going to fire Mickey Calloway. Mickey Calloway's got better job security. You, I mean, he, he, he is so incompetent. He is, Mickey Calloway is so incompetent, New Jersey Transit wouldn't hire him. Unbelievable. <sighs> Yankees, meanwhile, played the Orioles, who are basically a triple-A team at this point, winning 6-3. to three. And they were able to gain game on the Red Sox. Bad news in Boston, Chris Sale is now on a disabled list with a sore shoulder. Now, Sale is right now the uh, leading candidate to be the Cy Young. I mean, it, this is this is, I don't know what happened to him in August and September. He slows down or, or as as it is, and a sore shoulder. The Red Sox might have the best record at 75 and 34, but they're going to need Chris Sale. I, I, I can't imagine them not winning without him. And I, I, I mean, they, they still might win a division, but come to playoffs, they need him. Because they don't have as good as a bullpen as like the Yankees. And and some of these guys they have in that team have failed in the postseason in the past. And they got they got to prove something. <sighs> Astros beat the Mariners 5-2. Giants edged the Padres 3-2 with a base hit by uh, Crawford in the 10th inning. Uh, it was the uh, Pirates 5-4 winners over the Cubs. Pirates were active at the trade deadline. Today was the trade deadline, and they picked up some pitchers, so Pirates look like they're going to try to make a run. Not really many great big deals today. It was like uh, uh, a lot of the Dunder came before the uh, trade deadline, but there were plenty of deals made. Next, of course, Stan Pat. Tigers 2-1 winners over the Reds. Rays dealt away Chris Archer to the Pirates. Beat the Angels 10-6. Braves picked up a couple of arms and beat the Bra and beat the Marlins 11-6. Royals doubled up the White Sox 42. It was the Indians 6-2 winners over the Twins. The Rockies doubled up the Cardinals 6 to 3. The Diamondbacks blanked the Rangers 6 to nothing. The Athletics stay stay strong beating the Blue Jays 6 to 2. Dodgers picked up Brian Dozier and then lost a pitcher stool to the Brewers 1 to nothing. Today's three stars are Zach Godley of the Diamondbacks, who went seven innings, allowing two hits with ten strikeouts. Daniel Murphy, who was part of the... Daniel Murphy, you know... Oh, my God, Daniel Murphy. You know, this guy was a professional hitter. And the Mets sent out Gary Cohn to say he's a net negative. You see, he had no intention of signing him, even though he had that monster postseason. You know, all the failure goes back to them not signing Daniel Murphy. Uh, you know, maybe I didn't, I didn't, what didn't hate the move of them letting him go, but man, the Mets missed his professionalism. They miss his bats, but you know what? He didn't lift and pull, lift and pull, no exit velo. He sprayed the ball over the place. He was a professional hitter, and that's what the Mets don't want. They just want sluggers who just swing for their hips, and they don't care any strikeouts they have. No, they want exit velo and God, I hate sabermetrics. Matthew Boyd. The Tigers was the dirt star. Today's birthday shout out goes to Greg Jeffries. Now, you want to talk about losers. There is a loser. I remember when he sent that uh, open letter to fans, which was the most, one of the most pathetic things I remember. Over the past three years, there have been an awful lot said and written about me. All too often, I've been criticized and blamed by some of my teammates. I don't believe anyone can deny the fact that I have consistently taken it on the chin the last three years. In those years, I've always accepted responsibilities for my mistakes and errors. I have never made excuses or alibis or blamed anyone or pointed fingers. I hope the air can be cleared and my misunderstanding can be corrected. There comes a time when we have to stand for what's right. I believe it's only fair and right that New York fans know my side of the story. Yes, there is another side of what you've heard. 
I, I, there is no bigger sniveling whiner than Greg Jeffries. You know, he, him and Mickey Callery would get along. Both of them born losers. And then we take a look back to 1978, when Pete Rose who had his 44-game hitting streak came into end. It is the second longest hitting streak in the history of baseball, and the only one that really made a serious charge at Joe DiMaggio, and he still fell 12 short. That's got to put in perspective how impossible that 56-game hitting streak of Joe DiMaggio is. So take a look back at Barstool Sports for the full story and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. And, of course, click on Allow Me to Be Frank, our weekly podcast. We're growing. Keep it growing. Let's go. Let's make this podcast bigger, better. Keep listening. SoundCloud, iTunes, allow me to be frank. Support us. And hey, maybe one day we can get bigger and better things. We want to be on Barstool soon. And if you keep listening, if you want us on, start asking for it. We want we want more coverage. Let's build the allow me to be frank. SoundCloud and iTunes. Click on listen and click like and tell people. Pass the word. Allow me to be frank. <sighs> Just shoot me.